It's time for your Casey's inspiration, and I want you guys to go with me to Revelation chapter 20. Verse 1. Revelation 20 and verse 1. Hallelujah. I'm going to try and not keep you in this, in this spot too long today. Uh, I, I, I'm going to try. Bless your name, God. Hallelujah. Revelation chapter 20. And we're going to start at the first verse. And it says, And I saw an angel come down from heaven, having the key of the bottomless pit, and a great great chain in his hand. And he laid hold onto the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil and Satan, and bound him a thousand years. Cast him into the bottomless pit, shut him up, and set a seal upon him, that he should Deceive the nations no more, till the thousand years should be fulfilled, and after that he must be loosed a little season. Verse 4, And I saw thrones, and they sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them, and I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Jesus and for the word of God and which had not worshipped the beast neither his image neither had received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands and they lived and reigned with Christ a thousand years but the rest of the dead lived not again until the thousand years were finished. This is the first resurrection. Blessed and holy is the is he that hath part in the first resurrection. On such the second death hath no power, but they shall be priests of God and of Christ, and shall reign with him a thousand years. Verse 7, And when the thousand years are expired, it's when the thousand years have expired, Satan shall be loosed out of his prison and shall go out to deceive the nations which are in the fourth quarters of the earth, Gog and Magog, to gather them together to battle, the number of whom is at the sand of the sea. And they went up on breadth of the, breadth of the earth and Compass the camp of the saints about the beloved city. And fire came down from God out of heaven and devoured them. And the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone where the beast and the false prophet are. And shall be tormented day and night forever and ever. Real quickly, I need you to flip with me to Matthew 
25. Matthew 25 and 40. Let's start at 41. Matthew 25 and we're going to start at the 41st verse and go all the way to 45 if we can on this day. Watch this, Matthew 25 and 41. It says, Matthew 25 and verse 41. Then shall he say also unto them on the left hand, Depart from me, ye are cursed. De let, let me say that again. Depart from me, ye cursed into everlasting fire prepared for the devil and his angels for I was a hungered and ye gave me no meal no meat I was thirsty and ye gave me no drink I was a stranger and ye took me not in naked and ye clothed me not sick and in prison and ye visited me not Verse 44, then shall they also answer him, saying, Lord, when, when saw we thee a hungered, or a thirst, or a stranger, naked, sick, or in prison, and did not minister unto thee? Then shall he answer them, saying, Verily I say unto you, and as much as ye did it not to one of the least of these, ye did it not to me. Father God, we thank you. We thank you for your word. We thank you for the rev revelation of your word, God. Father God, I ask that you touch every word that come amongst my mouth, Father. Let it be of you and none of me. Let the meditations of my heart and habits of my being be all of you and none of me. Lord, have, my pe have your people to see you more clearly, to love you more nearly, to hear you more dearly, and to follow you more clearly. In Jesus Christ's name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 And I want to go off of this title. We are still in the return of Jesus, and we are talking on the aspect of the return of Jesus. Satan is bound and judged. This section, I want you to really flow with me here. Because this section has two concepts. I have two concepts I want to hit on today. Got two concepts I want to hit on, then I'm going to let y'all go. My first one. I want to talk mainly towards... This. Now, this section has two concepts. We're going to talk about the thousand years, the one thousand years, which is often called the millennium reign of Jesus, and the judgment of Satan, which we're going to hit, hit on right now. The judgment of Satan. Now, I want you to notice something. The Bible said that Satan was 
bound for a season. Satan is bound for a season. And we do not understand how this binding of Satan here differs from his restrictions. But if we go, if you go back in your due time and read about it in Revelation 12, there his restriction prevented his ability to attack God's people. God's children, rather. And he could only succeed by using a sinful man. His success was wrapped. If we if we go back, I'm, I'm telling you, if we go back in Revelation Revelation twelve, you will see that his only course of getting through to the king was through a man. Now, mankind that rejected God was given some time to repent. Let me kind of refresh you a little bit. They, 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 they were given time to get down on their knees, repent of their sins, and accept Jesus as their Lord and Savior. But the problem, the problem in that was The problem there, and, and, and I promise I'm going to let y'all go. The problem with this was they had If you can, I want you to bear with me here because if you can, I need you to refer to Revelation 12 with this. Mankind has rejected God. Mankind that rejected God were given time to repent. They were given time. Let me ask you something. How many times do you think God will accept forgiveness? What course of action do you think needed to be done if he was on earth? And then he opened the door for Satan to attack the church. Now some people may say, well, this is where we are now. See, Satan is not only attacking the church. He is attacking everyone who comes in coalition with it. Now he cannot even deceive the nation. That is a greater restriction. See, 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 they, the church is a restriction but the nation is something of a greater restriction to Satan at the end we see that God himself judges Satan he he is thrown into the lake of fire we call it hell and it was created for Satan now the demonic realm with Satan for his rejection and rebellion against God he 
This is where God deals with sin. This is God's way of dealing with Satan. This is God's way of dealing with him. This is a source of evil being removed. This is a source of evil being removed. Now, the, 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 let's kind of fix something about this judgment of Satan before I get to the 1,000 year reign. The judgment of Satan ultimately catches eyes. Uh huh. Satan is bound for a season, but his followers. Are now bound as well. Let's. Let's kind of get this in perspective. So you understand me here. That you. And I want to go next. Straight into this 1000 year reign. I want to go to the 1,000 year reign. And I want to show you how significant this is and what it means in just two perspectives. The first one, the 1,000 years is seen as a literal 1,000 years. This is literal. This is where Jesus comes to earth and rules. This is called pre millennial millennial return. I want you to write that down if you can. Pre millennial return. And When Jesus comes on this earth and he rules and we have experienced the premillennial return, this perspective is common today. It takes this passage literally and sees history this way. Jesus comes to earth. God's people who have died come alive and those who are alive meet them. Listen to me. And join Jesus and rule on the earth for a thousand years. At the end of the time, Satan is released to again cause mankind to rebel. This results in God's final battle and eternal judgment for all. So, God says, since this now is taking place, my judgment will not just affect one person. This judgment affects my entire nation. Perspective number two. That these two perspectives that are being that are being presented. I presented to you the first one. This next perspective that that that, that I had received was that the one thousand year reign is not literal. The first perspective it's seen as literal. 
The second one is not literal. Like most of the numbers in the book of Revelation, the first death is considered the death of our old nature. Our old life. Our and our new life in Jesus. Something only for God's people. Now. The time of ruling as priests in God's kingdom. Is now and not for some time in the future. Is not now for over more sometime in the future. This time of ruling includes a final battle. And Satan's defeat represents the end of this era and ushers in eternity. We almost, we almost gone, y'all. We almost gone. Which of these two is right? Apostles, doc, anyone with doctorates, prophets, I'm going to need your help with this here. Because which one is right? I'm going to tell you this. Different people believe different strong beliefs. I'm going to say that again. Different people believe strongly about both perspectives. Yeah. Both perspectives were found to have a strong belief. There's a lot of uncertainty and reasons to accept each other, each, either one, and questions that do not make sense for both of them. That, that there's logical reasoning to accepting one, but questioning another. Now, I want you to remember that this, sec this section is first and foremost a picture of of the judgment of Satan. That I want you to remember this. As I'm closing. At the demonic realm. Period. Period. That this section is first and foremost. A picture of the judgment. This is a picture of the judgment. This is not what's going to happen to you right now. This is a picture of it. God will judge them for eternity because of their rebellion. So God says, you don't have to do it. I know you don't like what they said. I know you didn't like what the preacher just told you, but... You can't judge that. You can't judge them because of their rebellion. You, you, you may not like how somebody told the story to you, but you cannot judge their rebellion. I, I think that might need to be my title. You can't judge their rebellion. The bride of Christ will enter eternity and never face the attack of Satan. Oh, wait a minute. Let me say that again. The bride of Christ will enter into eternity and never face the attack of Satan. The bride of Christ will never feel it. Never face the attack. Or the demonic realm again. 
They will not face it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There is a coming day when our tormentor, the one who accuses us continually, the one who deceived mankind into sin, the one who hates us because we are the crown of his creation, the one who hates everything that we love, Jesus our Savior, will be judged. I will never have to deal with his attacks again for eternity. It will be a great day for mankind. And especially for his children. So I challenge you. Let's be strong to withstand him. And be strong to oppose his attacks on mankind. Help me to use the authority that you give, oh God. Help, help me to use that authority that you give to your church to bind the works of the enemy in the lives of people and nations. Thank you. Father God, help us to be bold and courageous regardless of the attacks that he brings our way. Regardless of any attack that is thrown at us, God. We are more than victors. We are more than victors in this season. I want to prophesy this, then I'm going to step off of y'all. I don't know what you're dealing with. I don't know what frustrations you have. I've gone over my time. going over my time with this. I've gone over my time, y'all. I've gone over my time with this. This was way too informative uh, I, 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 I can feel some attacks from the enemy that are going to come just because of this message right here that, 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 that there are things that are going to things that I, 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 I see better things coming for you as a nation of God's people I see better things coming around for you. Casey's inspiration cares about your spiritual growth. Hallelujah. So we ask that you join us on the prophetic prayer call. Tonight and every day at five, we come on speaking in our heavenly language. We ask that you please mute your phones if you are not speaking in the 530 hour. Please mute your phones if you are not speaking 
the number 712-775-7031. When prompted, enter that code 184-264. Hallelujah. This is a time when the prophets need to arise and, and, and stand up and walk boldly. We all need to stand up and walk boldly in the name of Jesus. This inspiration might have been a little too much for a lot of you today. I understand. But I ask that you join me on tomorrow for a, this will be a Zoom call. I repeat this again. This will be a Zoom call educated to Facebook and YouTube. Amen. This will be on Facebook and YouTube. Amen. Where we come, where, where, where I'm going to give you my series, my message that God has given me, titled Give Thanks. Amen. Father God, we thank you on today. Thank you for your time, oh God. We thank you for being ever present, oh God. Father God, we thank you for being just who you are, God. We thank you for reigning once again upon your nation, God. Father God, I thank you for just being El Shaddai, your Elohim, your, 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 your Jehovah Rapha. You're, 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 you're my beginning and my end, oh God. And I thank you. I thank you, God, for supplying every need even when we didn't ask for it. You supplied the need, God. And Father God, I ask that you touch every person that has watched this and is coming to watch this, God. Father God, that they may learn of your reigning and 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 and. and where judgment from Satan has no more sense touched our bodies, God. So, Father God, as we prepare to close and we go never far from your presence, oh God, we thank you, we glorify you, we honor you, we praise you, we lift your name on high, God, in Jesus Christ's name. And all God's people said amen, amen. We ask that you join us Mondays at 8 a.m. and every and 3:45 and every day at 3:45, where we will once again bring forth the word. And don't forget, again, don't forget to check me out tomorrow. I have a word on tomorrow titled Give Thanks that you don't want to miss. Amen. God bless you. God keep you. May his face shine upon you. May he lift up your confidence and grant you all peace. In Jesus Christ's holy name. Amen. Amen and amen. God bless you all.